Uh, the next thing is setting up your audience. This is obviously something that you need to be very um, conscious of. You don't want to show your ad to people who aren't relevant to you. Uh, so make sure you're ch uh, choosing the right country or right location. If you want to import multiple locations, you can do that as well. Um, for us, because uh, we can target the across the U.S., we'll do that. And any gender for us is okay because our product uh, is, is great for both. Um, the next thing we want to do is add a tailored audience. So this is a retargeting campaign. Uh, and when we have a retargeting campaign, you want to make sure that you're targeting an audience that you uh, are generating via a pixel on your website. So we've created one called the retargeting tag. Um, this is an in-app tag, so we can actually target people who are within, uh, who are using our platform already. Uh, we also have one, a general one for our website, and of course you can also have it based around your conversion goals as well. So if you had an a initial conversion goal of uh, having them fill out a lead form, uh, you can also uh, target them uh, as people you know are further down the funnel. So in, um, in this case, we'll do the in-app one. Cool. Uh, so this is another way that, t that Twitter gets you to spend a lot of money, actually. So expanding reach by targeting similar users. It's, um, so this is something called the lookalike audience. If you want to uh, target people who are similar to your retargeting tag, you can do that. Um, but if you want to target just the people who are in your retargeting, tag, just make sure that you're uh, unchecking this box. So in our case, because it's a straight retargeting campaign, uh, we're going to take that off. Um, and of course, you know, there's other behaviors or events that you can target. But like I said, for now, we're just going to uh, make sure that we're uh, targeting anyone who is within the app. Um, you can customize where the promoted tweet appears. Um, and again, this is something where you can end up spending a lot of money thinking that you're showing up in people's uh, timeline, um, you know, but you're actually showing up mostly on their profiles or tweet detail pages, which have a slightly lower uh, click-through rate, um, but a higher impression rate. So it's something where you know we're just going to take this off for now, um, but we can add it in later if we feel like we're not getting enough volume.